Hello and welcome back to my Formula 1 2020 fantasy prediction season. My name is Alex Does F1 Stuff and in this episode we will be covering round number 5 in Spain. Spain, Spain, last year we saw the 5th 1-2 victory in a row for Mercedes. How will it fare this time out under my random fantasy prediction? algorithms, we will jump straight in and get into practice. So as we begin with practice one, Bottas leads the two Ferrari cars with Leclerc ahead of Vettel and Hamilton in P4. Verstappen comes forward seven places from last year in fifth, 1.5 seconds off of Bottas's pace. Ricardo is best of the rest in sixth, with the next six cars of Grosjean, Sainz, Magnussen, Gasly, Kvyat and Ocon all losing two places from last year and covered by only four tenths of a second with Ocon and Kvyat sharing the same time. That was a mouthful. The two racing point cars are next, with Giovinazzi behind and Russell in 16th, Norris is down in 17th and Raikkonen in 18th, with Albon and Latifi rounding off the field. As we head to practice two, again headed by Bottas, three tenths in front of Verstappen, who's moved up to P2. Hamilton is third in front of the two Ferraris, um, still headed by Leclerc. Grosjean is now sixth, with Gasly a tenth behind in seventh, both staying put from last year. Ricardo, Magnussen and Stroll round out the top 10, with Sainz just a hundredth behind the Canadian, and Perez three hundredths behind him. Raikkonen, Kvyat and Ocon are next, all losing places on last year, with Russell again 16th for Williams, ahead of Albon, Giovinazzi, Norris and Latifi, who is still on the back row. So practice three now before qualifying, it is again headed by the same top four, Bottas from Verstappen from Hamilton and Leclerc separated by four tenths. The two Haas cars are next, with Vettel two hundredths behind Magnussen. Perez, Sainz and Raikkonen make it into the top ten, with the two Renault cars splitting the Alfa Tauri cars of Kvyat and Albon. Stroll is 15th, with Russell again 16th. This time, Gasly is behind him in the Red Bull, followed by Giovinazzi, Norris and again Latifi. Also, I don't feel like I mentioned this in the intro, I'm fairly sure I didn't. There is a little Matty video that goes along with this series, I'll pop a little card in the corner to that. I should have said that in the introduction. Anyway, let's move ahead with qualifying. So Q1, Verstappen leads Bottas for the first time this weekend by one-tenth, with a massive 1.2 seconds to Hamilton. The advantage is definitely with those two drivers. Leclerc, Perez, Sainz and Magnussen all make it safely through, with Ricardo, Vettel and Gasly all inside the top ten. Kvyat, Norris, Grosjean and Raikkonen comfortably make it through as well, with Stroll just, just scraping through, two hundredths ahead of Russell in the Williams, who misses out on Q2. Uh, uh, Ocon, Albon, Giovinazzi and Latifi are all out. As we look ahead to Q2 now, it is led by Bottas from Verstappen from Hamilton. Ricardo sits P4 with the clerk in 5th. Gasly makes it through with a 117 flat, with Perez and Grosjean close behind. Vettel is all the way down in ninth, but comfortably through, as Kvyat is almost two tenths down. Magnussen couldn't do enough uh, to go through this time, with Sainz, Raikkonen, Norris and Stroll all out of Q2, failing to make it through to the final qualifying shootout. So qualifying this season for my fantasy prediction year has been dominated by Bottas, who has taken four pole positions in a row, with Verstappen always making it onto the front row behind him. How will Spain fare? It is another pole position for Bottas, five tenths clear of Max Verstappen, with Hamilton third. The two Ferraris are next, followed by Gasly in the Red Bull. Grosjean is down in seventh for Haas, um, and Kvyat is eighth. Perez is half a tenth back in ninth, with Ricardo rounding off the Q3 shootout in tenth. As we look at the starting grid now, Bottas takes his second pole in a row at Catalonia and his fifth of the season. So Verstappen moves forward two and Hamilton back one. Perez comes forward six from last year and moving further down the field, Albon loses seven, Giovinazzi one and Latifi three. So what will happen in Spain? Can... who won in Baku? Oh, I can't actually remember who won in Baku. Can whoever won in Baku win again in Spain and make it two from two, or will someone new win for the first time this year? Let us find out. So the race is won by Max Verstappen, bagging himself the first victory of the season, where he won his very first race just four years ago. Leclerc is P2, with Bottas rounding off the podium. Hamilton is fourth, with Grosjean having a mega race, finishing in front of Vettel for P5. 
Perez was very, very close behind Vettel, only a tenth in it, with Albon four seconds back in eighth. So Russell, though, had a mega race, finishing P9 for Williams with Ocon in 10th. Magnussen missed out on the points by 21 seconds with Norris behind. Latifi in the second Williams is between the two Alfa Romeo cars with Raikkonen in front and Gasly behind. Stroll is the last of the finishes in 16th. And the randomly selected non-finishers are Kvyat in the Alfa Tori, Sainz in the McLaren, Gasly for Red Bull and Ricardo in the Renault. As for the fastest laps of the race, Bottas takes this by over half a second, bagging himself the extra point to boot after his third place finish this time out. So looking towards the championships after round five, so Verstappen makes the biggest gains with his victory and Leclerc makes up his Baku Grand Prix with 18 points. There is actually considerable shuffling in the midfield, with Grosjean jumping up to 7th and Magnussen slipping back down to 13th, along with a switcheroo for the Renault boys as well. So Verstappen maintains his lead at the top, now 10 points from Bottas and 16 back to Leclerc. Hamilton is 4th with Vettel 19 points back. Looking at the rest of the field, Gasly heads up a group all the way down to Russell, separated by 24 points, easily enough to change race by race. So as for the constructors, the gains here were all fairly even, with Mercedes taking 28, Ferrari 26, Red Bull 25, Haas score 10, Racing Point 6, Alfa Tori 6, and Williams 2, with Renault bagging themselves 1. Alfa Romeo were the only team not to score this round. As for shuffling though, McLaren do lose their 4th place slot to Haas and drop down to 6th, and the two Alphas switch around 2. As Mercedes begin to stretch their legs 22 points clear from Red Bull, uh, with Ferrari 3 points further back. A huge gap has opened up to Haas, 72 points bridges the top 3 teams um, to the rest of the field, while 12 points covers 5 teams, with Renault and Williams still at the bottom of the grid. So that was round five in Spain. A very, very quick run through. It's kind of like how I, it's, oh, wow, English. It's how I like doing them, actually. Just sort of not rushing through it, but speaking it like a commentator kind of would, going through the race and going through all of the stuff. But yeah, I hope you did all enjoy that video, guys, and I will catch you in the next video, whatever I decide to make. I'll see you then.